Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be covering Nike stock, which sank over 10% after earnings. We're going to be covering it through this article on its earnings report and its projections. And then we're going to be going to dividend data to analyze the company a little bit more. So guys, let's get right into it. So Nike stock sank more than 10% today, Friday, when I'm releasing this video. And what happened is executives gave a weaker sales outlook for markets around the world. They highlighted a major cost-cutting initiative. It aims to cut $2 billion over the next three years. But what it also did is gave a worse revenue outlook of only about 1% growth for its current fiscal year. And before, they had uh, projected growth of around 3 to 7%. So this earnings report also dragged stocks of Dix and Lululemon uh, shares down slightly. And I think, you know, if we take a look at this article and we just sum it up, the company did beat on earnings per share and was in line with revenue. And so what happened with this company again is deep projections. But we're going to hop on dividend data and look at it a little bit more. Okay, guys, we have Nike here on dividend data. Right now, the company's trading at $108 a share, like I said before, trading down 11% today. If we look at the past five years, let's look at the past year, actually. We can see this huge fall right here. If we look at the past month, we can see the huge dip right here. But if we look at the past five years, there's been times where the company's traded up a hunt to about $175, $178 a share. But there's also been times when the company's traded at $80 a share, right? So... As we can see on the right here, though, their quarterly EPS is they have consistent quarterly EPS growth. As you can see, their quarterly EPS is consistently growing year over year, a little bit stag stagnation in 2022 to 2023. If we take a look at the company's key financials, their revenue is very consistently growing. As we can see, revenue growth of about 8.8% over the last 10 years and over the last three years, 11% and over the last one year, 12%. So actually accelerating revenue growth with these projections. We take a look at their margins their margins are very good why because they could sell shoes that cost them two dollars to make for two hundred dollars they have net margins of about 11 percent, which is very solid margins and the margins actually fluctuate there's times where they're about 12 percent, times when they're about eight percent let's say 12 to eight percent net margins if we take a look at their free cash flow very consistent free cash flow growth as well on an annual basis we can see their 10-year free cash flow obviously dipping down because of covid but other than that pretty consistent on the growing side and a 10-year CAGR on that free cash flow of 9%, so right in line with the market. This company also does have some debt. They have about $3.3 billion in debt, but if we go back to their free cash flow per share, it's not a problem for them to pay this off, as well as having a lot of cash on hand. They have about $6.2 billion in cash, so I'm not worried about that debt at all. If we take a look at their dividend, they've been consistently hiking their dividend as well, but the hiking has slowed it down recently, which always is a red flag in a company. Nike's dividend growth caker on the 10-year is 13.4%. On the 5-year, about 11%. On the 3-year, about 10%. On the 1-year, about 9%. So that dividend growth is slowing, as we could see here on the dividend growth chart. If we look at the last 10 years, we could see that growth in the hikes that they have been doing. If we take a look at their shares ascending, they've been consistently doing share buybacks, so that's good on them. Your shares are getting more value. They're not diluting you as a shareholder like some companies do. Overall, I think Nike is a company with a very strong brand, obviously very strong branding power in sports with all the brands they own, like Jordan, like LeBron, like Kevin Durant, like Steph Curry's shoes. And they honestly, in my opinion, are the dominant market position in sportswear, sports gear, all that different stuff. They sell so many different products that range from clothing, shoes, sweaters, hoodies, basketball, sports equipment. I mean, Nike's just all over the place and they have... Uh, many ways that they can expand their business even more than they already have by going international and different things. The company's valued at about $165 billion, and I think in the future that will definitely go up. Am I looking to buy this company at $108 a share? Before I end this video, I will answer that question. And my answer right now is no, because I'm actually invested in a different uh, fashion wear company, which is Crocs, which I think will have higher growth and I believe in slightly more. But Nike is certainly a great bet for dividend growth investors as it does pay a dividend. And I am a dividend growth investor. My only non-dividend betting stock is actually Crocs. I just believe in the company a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.